the weather has been a disaster over the last uh, couple of weeks, always raining, but at least uh, the bird bath uh, over here has enough uh, water. Um, I'm going to take a water sample. Uh, we're going to see what's in it. Uh, a few years ago, I found a, a many rotifers uh, in it. I'm not so sure whether I'm going to be as lucky this time, but there's one thing that I really disturbs me about this bird bath. Why, why, why do you put a bird next to it. I mean, other birds are not going to visit it and if there's this little um, artificial bird already sitting there. But that's a totally different story. Uh, let's uh, t uh, collect the water sample, let's put it under the microscope and uh, let's uh, hope for the best. So, I'm back at home now. Let's uh, try to put the sample under the microscope. I saw something quite uh, interesting here. There's a tiny a uh, little black uh, dot here. I don't know what it is. Let's put this first under the microscope. Here we go. And I'm just gonna put it under the microscope without a cover glass uh, because I don't want to crush it. Yeah, I think it's uh, some kind of larva of uh, some sort. Uh, no idea what it is. Uh, I think I'm just gonna put it back. Uh, could it be a some kind of, I don't know, it doesn't look like a mosquito larva, but I don't know, could be. I don't know. Um, yeah, in any case, uh, I'm more interested in uh, the smaller microorganisms in here. So, okay, I'm now going to take um, a sample um, from the bottom here uh, because uh, this is where we expect uh, most uh, of uh, the rotifers to live. Uh, should there be any in here? Okay, let's uh, take a sample. Look, ah, uh, that's way too much. It doesn't matter. I'll just remove it. Yeah, and uh, some I'm going to use some tweezers to remove this here. Okay, let's uh, have a look. Yep, and uh, that's already uh, a a rotifer. Rotifers are micro uh, micro animals. They're true animals. Actually, they're not microorganisms. They're composed of approximately 1000 cells. Yeah, here is uh, one of them. You see uh, those uh, dark uh, round circles? Uh, yeah, th these are so-called, uh, called hematococcus, uh, it's called. Uh, they are actually red uh, right now at this uh, magnification. We do not see the color, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a nice one. Uh, look, look, yeah, look how it's uh, trying to feed, um, yeah. Uh, rotifers are also known as so-called wheeled animalcules because their ring of cilia, these uh, hair um, on their head, um, they look like uh, spinning wheels. Yeah, but uh, they look um, actually quite uh, quite fascinating here. Um, yeah, so basically a little bit like expected, uh, not quite as many as I found a few years ago in this bird bath. Um, but uh, the thing that I did find plenty of are those round red circles. Uh, that's hematococcus. Uh, hematococcus actually are algae um, and uh, they appear in two forms. Uh, so um, under normal conditions, uh, when the conditions are good, they're green and uh, under stress uh, full conditions, like for example in the bird bath or I suppose maybe where there's frequent drying, uh, they actually uh, turn red. So they start to build up a, a red pigment. Um, and uh, those hematococcus uh, algae can be found quite frequently in, in bird baths uh, because uh, they actually are a little bit more resistant uh, to drying um, compared to other uh, compared to other microorganisms. Usually see when there is some kind of a flow, flowing movement, uh, um, some kind of a stream, um, then this kind of indicates that there must be somewhere um, possibly... Yeah, here it is. Yeah, here's another one. Yeah, or maybe it's the same one from before. Um, I don't know. In any case, uh, let's uh, go up yet again with the magnification. Yeah, we need to turn up the light again, and then we should be able to see um, see it quite well. And uh, yeah, here it is. Hematococcus and a rotifer. And how is that? Yeah, I think I uh, just wanted to share that with you. Um, just a little bit of uh, um, of casual um, exploration in the garden. Um, and uh, yeah. I think we're gonna go back to the garden now. So that's all I have for you today. Hope uh, you enjoyed the video. Yeah, I would like to invite you, of course, to subscribe to the channel if you did. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around in the next video. Bye-bye.